Hey everybody, it's Miss Sweet from Miss Sweet's Craft and Therapy. How you all doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Today, or right now, I'm bringing you a few more Halloween books. Um, some of these have already been shown on channels, um, but I haven't shown them, so I'm going to show them. So I'm just going to put those to the side. You can see I have a new Halloween backdrop. My next thing is I'm going to be looking for a Christmas one. So if you see one on Amazon that you think is cool, let me know. Um, housekeeping issue. I finally got the video posted for our for my um, 250. Was, no, no, no. It wasn't a 250. No, it was for the Coloring Hive giveaway. Um, so I already have two winners. Um, please watch the video. And... Um, can I say the names? Let me see. I might be able to. I kept a picture of it, but. Uh, um, give me a second. I can say the names while that loads. Um, another housekeeping issue. We are 25 away from 500. So you know what that means, right? That means. I'm going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway. Why not? Um, I have something really special for 500 giveaway. Um, I received an extra palette from the Art Spirits from Rebecca. Um, because of the things involved, you know, where she is located in the UK and me in the US, um, she told me just keep the palette. And then I suggested to her, let me keep the palette and I will use it as a giveaway. So I have a watercolor palette from the Art Spirits to give away. Now, this is the palette. Let me see if I can bring you in. Oh, my finger. I'm going to bring it in a little bit more here so you can see. Um, so this is... The outside tin. This is the ocean set. Now, this is mine. I've already been using them, and that's why they're also swatched. Oh, back up a minute. The winners were Joyce Gromley and Elena Powers. So, if that's you, you need to get in touch with me and get me your mailing address information, either via uh, Instagram message or email. And it's both are Miss Sweets Craft and Therapy. Um, the email is MissSweetsCraftInTherapy at gmail.com. Okay, now, back to the giveaway. The new giveaway. When I hit 500. So this is the palette you will receive. So I already have it. And yes, I did open it because I didn't know if it was my palette or not um, when I came in the mail. But this is her the same palette. She just has a different... Um, but you can see, this is how they come. She always has little cutouts. Um, so you can see I have, they haven't been opened. They're a brand new palette and this is what's in here. Um, these palettes go for 50 us dollars. Um, and the paints are gorgeous as you can see. And I have shown her paints on my channel before. Um, so one lucky winner will get this palette. And when we hit 500, you, you know, I'll let you know. Um, what you will need to do to enter to get that palette. Now I'm going to come back out and let's hit the three new books that I have here. So the first one here is So Beautiful. It's a kawaii pastel goth Halloween coloring book. This one is from Colored Caramel or Caramel, however you want to say it. Um, I've gotten a few of their books. I last showed you, I believe, um, the Halloween Gnome book. Um, I really like their books. They're really cute. So this was published on 9-6 by Colored Caramel. It has 53 pages. And there's your nameplate page. And then it goes right into the images. Of course, this is I have this marked to color. I want to color this before the Halloween season is done. But this page here, even though it says it's a Halloween book, that's really not that much of a Halloween page. So I think this is a dual book. <clears throat> and we've got some kitty cats having some drinks. 
Oh, a kitty cat pumpkin with ghosts coming out. Okay, some little kawaii animal dressed as a witch on a broom with some potion and a thunderstorm. Ooh. Okay, another little animal riding a carousel with some ghosts and candles going on. A little ghost, and that kitty cat is scared. And it looks like we've got some uh, ramen noodle eyeball stew here. And some little creatures hanging out in a skeleton's rib, ca rib, rib cage. And what do they call those cats? Ugh, I can't think of the name. It looks like a little puppy who's dressed because, I don't know, the chain. We've got that little spike chain going, or collar, and you know, he's uh, dressed as the, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. This guy, you know, the death guy. I can't think of his name. I always draw a blank. And we got some food with eyeballs and uh, Looks like a pops a little panda, panda ghost. Flying eyeballs. Oh, the kitty smushed the cupcake. And he looks happy about that. That's what a waste of icing that is. Uh uh uh. <clears throat> Another little animal, maybe a genie, because it's coming out of a container. <clears throat> Some fishies. Oh, this one's dressed as a pumpkin. This one's got a crystal. He's kind of hiding back in the skull. And the masks. And a bunny who's the magician. Instead of pulling a rabbit out of a hat, he's going to pull a human out of his hat. A little fox. Poison. Okay, that's some ice cream. Hmm. We've got worms and eyeballs in it, and I don't know if I want that one. Oh, we got a stitched up, looks like another bear panda. He's eating some ramen noodles out of a skull. Ghost in a graveyard. Ghosty cat. That's the cover image, little bat hanging out in front of the pumpkin. And then uh, back cover just shows you some of the images inside. And that's so beautiful. Uh, the other one that was a late comer to the game. The coloring hive came out with Spooky Town Halloween. And this one is illustrated by Sepada Pacnia. Pacnia. Back cover has some images. There's 30 images. Um, Single-sided. And then there's 30 blackout images. So the first 30 in this are just going to be white background, and the sec second set will be black background. Um, I don't know. that. No, it's not like that. So I don't know what they're talking about. Hand-drawn, 30 blackout images. Hmm, all right, I don't know what that, but we'll see what they're talking about. All right, and here's our nameplate page. This book belongs to, oh, and you can put in what date you started coloring in it. <clears throat> Information about the book and the coloring hive and about the artist. Coloring tips, palettes and color theory. And then making your own palette, color palette. And then another page to swatch. All right, so the first picture we have here is called Confection House. Okay, well, that's what it shows there. Hmm. Okay, Spooky Cauldron. 
trying to figure out maybe it was a misprint. I don't know. That one's cute. Moon Dance with the Bat King. So yeah, it must be the Bat King back there. It's got a little audience. And this is the Boo House. And well, that makes sense. There's the house. I wonder if that other one might have been a misprint. Who knows? Yet another vampire movie. Hmm. It looks like we got a zombie zombie as the cameraman. Spooky pantry. And we got a hand and a cauldron. Looks like some lollipops. Eyeballs and fingers in a jar. Pumpkin. And he's sitting down on the floor eating some candy. And look at that. We got a butcher knife there. Hmm. Graveyard party. That one's cute. We got bats and ghosts and pumpkins and a coffin and a witch. Who looks like she's kind of floating. So I wonder if she's a witch ghost. It is the season. Little spider, happy Halloween hanging. A little ghost. And we got a TV with a pumpkin on it. Spooky spell book. And as I pointed out before, I know I didn't say, but you've got a place for your calendar notes and a swatch section um, to use for each page. That one's cute too. Books and a bucket of candy and a cauldron and a little bat sleeping. No more Santa. Uh oh. What did they do to Santa? It's a house floating on water. Hmm. Potion delivery. She reminds me of that comic strip. Broomhilda. She looks like Broomhilda. Not exactly, but a little bit like Broomhilda. That's who she reminds me of. Halloween Garden. That one's cute, too. They're coming up from the underneath. Pied Piper concert. Spooky time in space. Oh, yeah. So we got a pumpkin with Saturn rings. Oh, we got two of them. And some oh, ghosty looking aliens in a spaceship. Bubbling, troubling. Oh, ghost is cooking something up in the cauldron. And I guess according to the title, it's some trouble. Halloween Hall. Hmm. Oh, look at all that stuff. We got spiders and candy and bones and all kinds of stuff. Ice cream with bugs and fingers. Witch and the Wardrobe. Wonder what's in that wardrobe. Hmm. Public Transport. <laughs> oh, there's a public transport, a broom. Very cute. And they're all piled on to one another. <laughs> Pumpkin House. Oh, we got a little Frankie living in the pumpkin house and possible ghost. Another little ghost with dressed as a little devil or... Nope. Oh, wait a minute. He's got little fangs, so I'm going to say a little vampire. Old friends catching up. Mr. Pumpkinhead and the ghost sitting by the cauldron. Grandma's house. And 
Grandma's wearing a shirt with skulls on it. Hmm. Is Grandma a witch, maybe? Spookiest Circus. He looks happy, but... Oh, okay, wait, now there's this. Okay, he's smiling, too. Everybody's smiling except him. And he all look too happy. <sighs> Pumpkin Show. This one's cute. Pumpkin Rampage. Uh-oh. Watch out. Spooky Town at Night. Scary Movie Night. Spooky Town Evening Show. Uh oh, Halloween Zombies Attack. Breaking news. And we got a clown giving the news. I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Pumpkin Wheels. His car is a pumpkin. He's just driving along. <coughs> Excuse me. Halloween Camping Trip. Cute. Graveyard Party. Cute. Okay, so that's what they meant by the black images were the were the <coughs> cover page to the um, coloring page. So that's 30 images, and that's uh, Spooky Town Halloween by the Coloring Hive. Then we got another one that just came out um, a couple of days ago. And this one is by Edwina McNamee. 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 Uh, McNamee. I can't even pronounce it right. Now, um, there is an error in this book. Um, uh, she is aware of it and she's getting it fixed. So I, that was just as of today. Um, so I would, if you like this book and want to order it, I would give it a couple of days before you order it. Um, cause she's got to let uh, Amazon know and get the corrections made to the book. There's only one, one error. It's not a biggie. <clears throat> and her images are just so cute. And she gave away, if she has a Facebook page and she was giving away some of these images for free. So you may want to check that if you can't get the book, but <clears throat> definitely check that out and her Instagram. And she's definitely got more people in this book than she's had in uh, past books. And she's, this is the author that does the, um, oh, do, 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 the Winglings. Do I have her other book or one of them here? Did I color in one? I might have, I'm not sure. I don't think I have one here now, but I love these bats. I love her little bats. They're so adorable. So now what she does is she, you get one set of images and then the second set of images um, is with a black background. So this is the white background. And then the next set you'll see um, will be these images with a black background. So it works really well for those who don't like to do backgrounds or color in backgrounds because the night sky will already be done for you. It's a cute owl. We got that girl with the baby bat. Oh, so cute. Look at the little chubby one. Oh, and she's holding her little cat as she cooks in her cauldron. This one's cute too. And a little sugar skull. Potion bottle, glow potion. A haunted house, boo. This is one of those books that I just wanna keep saying cute. This is cute, I love cute books, you know that. And I do overuse the word cute. They're so cute, look, come on. They're so cute, come on. Even her little girls are cute. 
Uh-oh, he looks like he's got some black eyes there. What happened? He get into a fight? That's cute. I like I love the pictures. We got a little pumpkin scarecrow. The owl and the kitties hanging out. Some bats living in a shoe. And ghosts coming out. Oh, and there's the other shoe, and the kitties are living in that one. Oh, look at the little bat family. This is one of the ones she was giving away for free. Now, I don't know if it's still there. I did not check. Um, but I had previously colored this. Um, and I think I posted it on my Instagram. But I'm just I'm in love with this image. It's so darn cute. We got another shoe, different one with stars all over it, and now an owl family's living in it. it looks like we got a wizard or witch. Well, look at the dress that you get to color in. We've got bats and stars on it. And this starts the images with the black background. <clears throat> now, one of the issues, um, and this happened in my book and somebody else's, so this is a known issue, um, is that it's off-centered, the black background. Um, the artist is talking about just removing in the in the update, in the correction, is just talking about removing that. I don't know if uh, they will or not. This will still remain black, but this, the back page won't be black. Which, you know, as we've all learned with these black pages, this ink tends to make the books curl. Um, so, you know, when it's off like this, they don't curl, but when you have a full black, plate, black page, these books tend to curl. So a lot of them are removing that. I mean, it helps, but it doesn't help. We're still going to put our cardstock or something in between the pages to stop the bleed through. Um, and if you use cardstock, it doesn't matter if it's black or white, it stops the bleed through. So, and if this costs them more and this costs more ink um, to print this, I'm all for getting rid of it. And they look so different when they're on a black background. Oh. Now this is the one with the error. The actual page that it is, is this one. Um, so it's supposed to be this one with a black background. Um, so she's fixing, she's getting that fixed. So that's why I was saying, give it a couple of days before you um, uh, order the book. And of course, if you already have and have, have those errors, you always have the option of returning the book um, due to the error. Um, so, but again, give it a couple of days so that this way, if you do return it and um, to get a replacement, the replacement you get will you know, have the correction in it. Don't they look so different though with the black background? They're the same pictures, but the black background definitely changes the look of them. See that one with the black background already done for you? I, I'm in love with this picture. It's got to be my favorite in the whole book. And then we have a few blank pages and then the back cover. And that's it. That's the last three I have. And if I get any more Halloween books, <clears throat> I don't need any more. 
I'm not going to flip them. That's it. We're done. And as you'll see soon, you'll know why. Okay, we'll see you guys real soon. You all take care. Take care of one another. Um, be safe. All that good stuff. Stay out of trouble. And as one of my favorite YouTubers says, make good choices. And see you again real soon. Bye.